Okay, guys. Let's get it going. Deep breaths. Make sure we're sitting up. Nice, comfy positions. You can sit nice and straight with your legs crossed. Is the music okay? Too loud? There's a speaker over there. Just do me a favor and rub your arms, hands. I'm just try. I do this a lot. Get energy flowing and moving. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take off my rings. I feel constricted a little. <clears throat> Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna, what, what are you doing? You need to pick a, no, I don't like that spot. Can you just come sit down on the bed and stay there please without tiptoeing around? Stop it. Stop it. You're being annoying. Little bear. Seriously. She's such a freak. She went from being a cat who didn't like to go outside to being a cat who can't stand being inside. It's really frustrating. <laughs> okay. Hopefully Rosie will stay there, not be tiptoeing around. I don't know if you guys can hear her little nails on the ground when she walks, but I can, and it's really annoying when I'm trying to do an astral. Unfortunately, her going over Rick's doesn't work because he goes to bed at this time, so I can't have her there. I didn't even bother talking to him about it because it just got too late. So anyway, hopefully that's not distracting and she'll stay in there and she won't be walking around. <sighs> oh, I forgot Ariel flew out here. Sorry guys, hold on a second. Ariel, I'm going to push you in the bedroom so you can see where you're at. Come here. I know you want to be out here, but it's dark. I'm not going to show you. I don't want him to need... He loses his balance and he'll need to fly to like, so he doesn't fall. And if he can't see, he's gonna fall. And then that'll be really distracting. So I forgot he flew out here when I did everything. Okay, sorry guys. I really hope that's that. Animals. <laughs> what can you do? Okay. All right, another nice big stretch. Arms up, reach, reach, reach for the sky. Let your head hang back. Deep breath, just open up your chest. Oh, bring your arms all the way down and back. Stretch out your shoulders, open up your chest. 
Head back, shoulders back. And put your hands together at Namaste right in front of your, your chest, palms together, nice and easy. Wanna make sure that our shoulders are back. We are uh, nice and balanced and centered in our seats right above our hips, our pelvis, not leaning too far forward or backward. Feel the energy start to flow. Feel your, your palms together and the energy, your palms together, your chakras and your palms. And just nice, steady, deep breaths getting centered. Nice deep breaths all the way down. Feel the air, feel the energy, the life force going all the way down to your root chakra. When it hits, bottoms out, the bottom of your root chakra, just let it radiate back up. So deep breath down, let it bottom out, and then take a deep breath back up and in and let it come back up and just feel the energy going all the way down to your root chakra, lighting it up, bouncing back. With each new deep breath. With each new deep breath, we're going to connect with a higher chakra. So our root chakra, connecting, feeling that, start to energize and activate, turn on turning on your root chakra, activating it. Another deep breath and this time the energy force, the life force is going down into your sacral chakras. That energy is coming up from your root chakra, turning it on and activating that orange energy center, your sacral chakra. Another couple deep breaths right into your sacral chakra, lighting it up, bouncing the energy back up and out, circulating, bringing in new life force with, with each new deep breath into your body, into your sacral chakra. Already feeling our heart chakras expanding. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're going into our solar plexus. Breathe down all the way into our solar plexus. Lighting it up, our own great central sun in the middle of our energetic body. Lighting up our solar plexus, feeling it radiate out. Another deep breath directly into your solar plexus. Feeling it expand and light up, transmuting energies, activating with your root and your sacral, sending that energy flowing up. 
Another deep breath directly into that solar plexus. Transmuting energies now. You're seeing light coming through. That is energies transmuting, feeling your ears pop, welcoming in our high council along with the galactic command. All in one, one and all, welcome. Thank you for guiding us all here and being with us here today. We're here for our full moon meditation. Feel into your divine spirit tribe coming in around you. If your ears are popping, if you're getting warm, feeling the density around you. Just breathe that in. Any visions, any smells, any sensations that you're feeling within your body as the angelics, your spirit tribe. As we connect with the High Council, consisting of the Fae, connecting telepathically with the High Council and myself. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all my beautiful gifts and taking care of me. I want to welcome in the dragons. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm feeling your divine presence your greatness, your wisdom, your power, your love. I want to welcome in our galactics, our cosmic brothers and sisters, those coming to us and working with us from higher dimensions, connected with Gaia, connected with us. <coughs> working with our starseed family here incarnate. Thank you, thank you for being here, sending signs, sending symbols. Watch for us, we are here, they say. Thank you. If you have been seeing images of uh, green orbs, orbs of green or teal green light or the symbols of that in any which way it may come. This, these are um, messages and uh, very much as though um, they're saying similar to the types of messages that we receive by getting um, feathers and those types of things that you would directly relate with angelics. There's also certain symbols that you would directly relate with um, your galactic families. We use different ones, but there are also universal ones as well. Please take note if there are specific symbols or uh, objects you've been seeing repeatedly or that you will be seeing repeatedly. So thank you for these messages. Of course, we're welcoming in our highest selves, our soul selves, connecting more and more every single moment, every day with our souls, our soul selves, learning and recognizing, coming into a more and more authentic place within our, our own systems, our bodies being in greater alignment with the reflection. We in physical avatar form connected with our soul selves, being directed and guided. Welcome.
family, friends, ancestors, those who are crossed over onto the other side, those who we are connected to in this and other lifetimes who are here to help us in this moment, in this lifetime. And of course, all of the animal beings that we have been in relationship with. Incarnate or otherwise. Welcome in our divine animal family. Fast and great as it is, connected in so many ways with the animal kingdom and kingdoms, the insect kingdom as well. Expand to all animals, land and sea and air. All animals, those in which we are familiar with and those in which we are not wild and domestic. Those who are no longer with us, unfortunately, gone. With us in spirit always, we welcome you. First, our divine angelic guides, our personal guardian angels. Welcoming in the Archangelics. Thank you, divine brothers and sisters, for being here. We love you so very much. Always with you, one and all, all in one never apart. We and you simply in different forms. Some in body, some not. Some both. Recognizing these facts is the first step in understanding the vastness of creation and your place in it now and always. There are certain truths that must be accepted and understood, remembered consciously. and accepted wholeheartedly in order to continue on your ascension path. We celebrate you for these acceptances, for these understandings, for remembering. minute by minute, inch by inch, day by day, pulling pieces off that blind you, 
newspaper on the window, if you will, blocking your view. Each day, seeing more. Close up and far away, building the entire picture. We are here to guide you. to show you where to go, what pieces to pull, what to work on, what to look at, what to learn, what to remember. Please now feel into and breathe into your heart chakra, feeling into and acknowledging the presence of your spirit tribe and all their love and take it in as you breathe in your deep breaths into your heart chakra now, please. Taste and smell the air sweeter with their love. Feel the heat rise, the temperature around you getting warmer. Your entire body structure starting to transmutate. Again, deep breaths into your heart chakra, lighting it up, expanding, please. Radiate out that energy, pure love light, breathing it in all the way, infusing it. Further activating your root chakra, your sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, your heart chakra expanding, feeling it expand into your back, turning on and activating your wings more and more, feeling into that energy like we were told today earlier. Really working with your wing energy. Feel it rise up the back of your neck and into your third eye chakra as you breathe in directly into your third eye. Pull that air past your eyes, past your sinuses, and take that air directly into your pineal gland, directly into your third eye. Do it again. Breathe in. There you go. Feel your head expand. Feel the energy start to bubble up around you, getting deep, getting denser around your temples and pushing out to one more time breathing directly into your third eye one more time hold it there and feel it expand look into your third eye breathing in expanding that energy out Remember, if you're tingly, if you get itchy, that is totally normal, especially in that winged area, the back of your or your shoulder blades. It can get very tingly, very itchy. So if they feel that way, feel free to itch. Just do not open your eyes. Keep them closed. <coughs> it is okay if this is your first time with us whether here live or joining us after, it is okay to move. It is okay to just stretch and scratch and itch and sway and, and dance if you feel like it. Just please do not open your eyes. Keep them closed, keep them focused on my voice. 
feel into the energy. So very, very understandable that you're feeling the energy rising up, especially as we're working with that heart chakra, we're getting into our winged area. So feel that energy. I want you to start feeling into and breathing in more and more into your third eye, into your heart chakra again, feeling that expand into your wings and feeling that going all the way up the back of your neck again, reaching into and pulling open, <laughs> might be a little uncomfortable, but pulling open even more, expanding, breathing into your third eye, into your pineal gland, directly attached to your two eyeballs in the front of your head, in the middle of your head is your pineal gland made of the exact same fibers and cells that your eyeballs are connected there to your eyeballs. There in the middle of your head, in the middle of your, uh, your brain, your pineal gland. Breathe into it, feeling it expand, just letting it go. Don't lock it down. Don't don't hold don't hold down on the energy as it's trying to transmute transmutate and rise up. It can feel uncomfortable. Just let it go. It can feel like a headache or pressure on the top of the head as it's rising up from the inside of your head. We do have dense negative energy around all of our chakras, including our third eye, especially given what they do to our water and our food. So we do have these energies. We're working with these energies to transmute these energies and make them expand and release. It does feel like something because something is actually happening. So don't lock it down. Let it go. Breathe into that, that tightness or pressure in your head. Get a deep breath directly into your third eye. Just breathe into that and hold it there. Just feeling it expand out and pushing it out and up. And then as we do that, we're going to cycle back down into our throats and we're going to light up our throat chakras and feel into that energy. So we're going in through our hearts, up into our backs, lighting up our winged area. It's going, that energy is going directly up our necks into our pineal, kind of doing this, this circular motion into our third eye. And then we're letting go, releasing up into our crown chakra. And then it's also circulating and going down into our throat chakra. So breathe into that, into our throat chakra right now, please. Feeling that start to activate. There we go. Same thing. Density, tightness in the throat. Another deep breath directly into that. You're going to feel that in your ears as well. So just feel that cycling through heart chakra, wings going up the back of your neck into your third eye. Another deep breath. Whoa. Going up into your crown chakra. And then also cycling through and down into your throat chakra and breathe into that energy setting or feeling you transmute, going back up, feeling the pressure in your ears, letting it go. Lighting up our entire energetic system from root to crown. Feel the energies expanding out creating this big, beautiful bubble, this big, beautiful rainbow sphere. Just feed into that energy with each new breath, expanding it out. You want it to be as big as your reach all the way around. Below where you're sitting, above your head and all the way out, create this bubble with your energetic field, with your rainbow light from 
from root to crown, from red to purple, violet. Balanced and stabilized with your uh, solar plexus chakra. Lighting up from within, radiating out big, beautiful yellow energy all the way around you. And just feel the other colors just blending in together. All the way around you. With each new breath, we connect more with ourselves, with our souls, with our bodies. We transmute any densities. We have intention to always further transmute more and more. Breathing in and breathing out nice and steady now, just feeling into your body activated, feeling that energy circulating through. For those of you who have been working with your DMT, your DMT activations, your Merkaba activations, especially the DMT, once we get to this point, you might already start feeling and seeing and getting those effects. So similar to the Hatha long breath work, we're working with our with our two eyes in into our third eye as we'll be doing in a bit. After we do that consistently and we get into a place of meditation and connectedness with our bodies and with our third eye, with where the DMT release comes from within the center of our brains, regardless as if we're working with our breath or our energy and connecting directly into our third eye as we've been doing. You'll find that the effects of DMT will start to naturally release without having to do any physical activity to get it to do that. Whether it is breathing really heavy or doing these, these long breaths that happen in Hatha or, um, or doing what we do here, which is activating directly with our physical eyes, pressing into our third eye and activating and releasing the DMT. So you may be experiencing that just, it, it, and it's not as intense, but it's a little bit of that. So just please know, just by the practice, the usual and regular practice of working with the DMT in this way to help um, connect and release and transmute energies, working with that natural activation, especially during stargates and portals and full moons and new moons, et cetera, et cetera, power activation days, enhances that. Also a good place to do this would be sitting in your on your shower floor, on your tub, That's pretty much the only other place I do I, I do my DMT activations is, is in that space. I'm only dry with you guys. <laughs> so please know the more that you do that, the more this natural DMT will start to um, release through these meditations and practices and the more you work with your DMT. I've been doing it for many months now, so it's starting to to come to a point where it's just happening, which is kind of cool. Again, breathe in right into your third eye. Thank you. 
Okay, family, right now I would like you to once again center yourself in your bodies. Take note of how you physically feel at this time. What's going on with your energy centers from your root, your sacral, your solar. Make sure that you're sitting up nice and straight, shoulders back, chin up, head nice and straight and flat, working with our DMT already, not needing to activate with our, with our hands and our eyes just yet, getting into our energetic system, feeling into your solar plexus. Your heart chakra, hopefully your chest is nice and open now, feeling that energy going back through your back into your winged area, starting to feel that expand even more. If you're itchy, if you're hot in that area, it's totally normal to feel this way. Feel free to scratch. You may even feel that like numb, tingly thing going on as your energy is expanding because it can even be a little bit uncomfortable and really really hot, even painful. So if it feels better to scratch, itch, whatever back there, go for it. Feel that energy going back up into the, uh, the top of your, or up your neck, the top of your head, into your third eye, expanding out of your crown one more time. Just feel that lighting up now. I want you to take that energy and go up, up, up. All the way up, connect with your crown chakra, light it up. Breathing directly into your third eye, expanding that energy up into your crown chakra. Take that energy up and out, let it radiate out, shower around you, activating the violet light. Now, feeling it wrapped around you, connecting with Gaia at your base, activating your Merkaba. The feminine point at the head, the masculine point at the root coming together at the center and spinning, activating. Lots of energy is transmuting right now. Lots of light coming up. Just breathe into it. Next deep breath, we're going to connect and drop our core down into and with Gaia. Feel that Beautiful violet light going all the way down, showering around us, connecting at our base and dropping down in with Gaia. Just feel it going all the way down. See yourself from the outside perspective. Feel your energy traveling down into Gaia, connecting with her at every level. As that cord is going down, we're going to release and shoot our light up through our crown chakra all the way up, connecting with Mother, Father, God, source energy now. Beacon of light through and through this full moon tonight. Thank you, one and all divine beings, for being here incarnate and otherwise. Connecting again with the Stargate known as Lion's Gate, still active from 882019. Connecting with Giza, connecting with Sirius, connecting with Galactic Center, connecting. Activate. Merkabas are spinning. Deep breath, don't lock it down, transmuting. Activating. Crystalline DNA is activating. Feel it in your heart chakra, radiating it out. Activating and connecting once again. Stargate. 
amplifying with the full moon energy. Feel it through and through, connecting all the way down, connecting once again, feeling the core dropping down into Gaia, all the way down into her center, connecting with Gaia. Connect, activating. For those of you who have been with us in healing sessions connected with Gaia, with all of your chakras in this way, feel that presence again. Re-energizing those anchors with Gaia. Others, connect with Gaia. Feel her holding on to your cord, accepting. Holding on and anchoring with your cord of light. Infusing with her energy, Mother Gaia speaks. Hello, dear ones, this is Gaia. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for connecting with me. I hold on to your divine cords of light, anchoring with my energy. We are all transmuting. We are still in Stargate. Thank you for being here and working with us, receiving our messages that we have sent to you today. Please know, dear one, anchoring further with me at my core today. Further solidifying our divine connection, your remembrances, and how you've been connected with me in past lives, remembering those important pieces of information and knowledge wisdom that you gained in these past lives, further opening up the channel to your soul as well as you are here in this beautiful space with me and my energy, connecting with me always in this way and I with you. Infusing her energy, the balance of her energetic body. Feel her holding on. Taking your divine energy planting it within the grid system at the core. Observe, watch, see how she takes your divine energy, integrating it, charging it with her own. Bringing it up once again to connect with you at your cord, infusing it, and sending it back up to you in your physical body. Sending it up to you now. Dear ones, please know we are working with the abundance matrix now more than ever. Your energy anchored with me, infused with mine. Your divine energy working with me in this way, being a witness to this work in this way, offering your divine loving energy in this way at this time, in this divine, divine now moment. And in the future, for those of you who join us, we feel your energy in this present moment.
further solidifying, energizing, and anchoring with the abundance matrix as it was meant to be upon Gaia. The abundance matrix is creational energy, is creation. That is at her core what Gaia is, never ending, beautiful creation, always and forever. We, with her, have been here time and time again. And we will be here again. Feeling into the energies of this infinite relationship, visiting and revisiting, working time after time with our great mother, and with Mother, Father, God, each time setting the foundation for the next time. But this time, as we're energizing and working with her, as we connect with our divine counterparts, as we infuse this beautiful energy that she is sending back up to us and Bring it into our physical body, activating more of our spiritual body, becoming more in tune and more alignment with our soul selves and with each other and with Gaia and with all of creation. Now is like no other time. So very many connections to be made. And this is how it is done. Energetically, intentionally, with love, with guidance, with those like Gaia and Jesus and Michael and me, Gabriel, here to help to make this happen for us all. Feel the energy coming back from Gaia supercharged now with her energy. Easy breathing now, please, family, as this energy starts to permeate through into your field, coming up further, further, further into the cord that we drop down into Gaia. Nice and easy acceptance with the supercharged energy of Gaia. Balanced. We think about our energy systems from red to violet. Maximum output of 10, we have now maximum output of 100. Supercharging this energy. Red brighter than ever. Orange brighter than ever. Yellow brighter than ever. Green brighter than ever. Blue brighter than ever indigo brighter than ever, and violet brighter than ever, our entire system brighter than ever. Activating, further solidifying with the Merkaba spinning, activating with them, sending up and going up and through to our crown chakras, activating further and transmuting DMT into our third eye, feeling it release now. Breathe into that, please, family. And send it up through your crown chakra, going all the way up, all the way up. Visualize it, see it happening. You are an anchor, you are a cord, you are a divine pillar of light, connected with Gaia, connected with your soul, connected with Mother, Father, God, and all of creation and with each other, sending out the vibrations for your divine, counterparts incarnate to meet with you in the divine now and right moments that it should be and when it will be.
here on a mission of love and peace. To meet, to work together in mission, in love, sending out these vibrations. Peace, harmony, love, unity, connectedness, oneness, infinitely. We are meant to be together, all of us, and feel that. Put your thoughts on that beautiful, big, full moon, amplifying these energies. We're in a place and time like never before, family taking in the energies from millennia ago when we sat together under the full moon in the center of the 88 gate thinking ahead millennia when we would be together again working together the convergence portal is a connection a line of light and energy from the past to the present so we may remember who we were millennia ago when we were working here back then and who we are now we have powerful understandings and knowledge locked away we are awakening to them yet again now Feel the truth in that, accept it. The knowledge, the keys unlocking the doors of the past, of the present, and of the future coming together, converging, dropping unnecessary timelines in lower density realities, rising up to the future in higher dimensions where we belong taking all of humanity and Gaia with us as she rises, us together with her, one and all and all in one soul family. Please know, dear ones, many of you, shortly, in your near futures, will find that you are in timelines that are taking you to places you never thought you would go, physically and otherwise. Know that so many amazing experiences possibilities for the future are being written now. You sending out your energy to the highest possible branches and timelines that are afforded to you is what you are doing now, solidifying more and deeper, strengthening your foundation with the abundance matrix, becoming more creational, receiving abilities to create gifts coming together to create with each other things that you could not create alone part of the plan always you will see these timelines these branches in time these people and experiences situations starting to take form Remember, stay out of your way. Go with the flow, be guided. Do not hold back. Manage your frequency, master it.
Feel into the energy all the way through and through. Take note and pay attention to any of these symbols that you've been getting. At this point, we are in a practice of remembrance, always. Take yourself into your vehicle. You are in a caravan now, driving in the desert. It is dark out, but so bright. The moon is out and up and full and lit up in the sky. Yet, you can see so many stars. driving in a caravan, many cars, trucks, RVs, trailers, we're in a caravan. We're driving through the desert and it is nighttime. Everyone is happy and joyful. We're on a mission, we're together. And the moon is high and bright in the sky. We are all connected and together. And we all are looking up as we're driving in the caravan. It's a beautiful moon in the sky. And all the beautiful stars. And we see the lights ahead of us turning red. Cars are stopping. Parking, people are getting out of their cars, turning off their lights. We are in the desert and the weather is perfect. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. There's a nice, beautiful breeze going. The air is beautiful. We can see the stars and sky so bright, so many of them, regardless of how big and bright the moon is. We are in the middle of the desert. We look out to hills and mountains flatlands, the plant life of the desert. And we all come around in a great big circle. And there are about a hundred of us. And we have things of light, poi and other beautiful things of light, not too bright. We do not light a fire. We get in a circle. There are drums. And we start to feel and hear the beat of the drums. And we sit in the circle 
we connect with each other, we feel Gaia, we feel the vastness of the desert. But we can also feel the water deep below. We can see the stars, feel the moonlight shining down, charging us. Big, beautiful moon charging us, activating us. The beat of the drums. Some of us compelled to stand up and dance, sway, chant, sing. Pulling in the energies from Gaia, from the moon, from our galactic brothers and sisters, feeling the energy of our vast, infinite spirit tribe all around us, with us, dancing, swaying, singing. All of our energy there in the space as each of us light up light up with the energies sending that energy collectively up into the night sky there in the desert sending out a shockwave of healing love light to be felt throughout Gaia. Every single divine living being upon Gaia, feeling the energy of this collective tribe together, celebrating love and light, all of us together on a mission. Working with Gaia and her beautiful moon working with our divine counterparts, feeling the energies of the Fae all around us, the dragons in the sky, and the connectedness that we have to our cosmic galactic brothers and sisters. Through space and time, we are them and they are us and we are all one. We send out our soul song to our reflections. They will hear and feel our call, our soul song, and they will join us. They will awaken, they will remember, they will be the light warriors they were meant to be with us in unity. We are here for them, we are here for each other. Our divine counterparts are always here and always with us. Remember, Ask and you shall receive. Hello, dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus. 
Thank you for being here. I see you now where you sit in both of these beautiful spaces with me always and I with you. There is so much for you to remember. I am here to help. We are all here to help. We've talked a lot about the things that are and are not true. At least the idea of these things. The more you transmute and anchor and receive and work with your souls and with us, the more you remember Sometimes the more confusing it may become. And so this is why we are here with you to help you in this way. You to know that although you may have moments of being crazy, you are not. It is normal to feel out of sorts in this process. That's why we're here and doing everything we can to help. Trying to remind you of different things and to pay attention to other things. We give a lot of instruction and a lot of information because we understand that it isn't easy to be in these different places, to be separate. you are not, you are not separate. Sometimes it may feel this way and more and more you will lose these feelings of feeling separate. They will feel far away because the more you awaken and remember and understand you know and feel constantly because we are always with you. That is true. It is, however, a process of faith, of patience. It is not easy. It wasn't easy for me. It's not meant to be easy. It doesn't matter who you are. Ask Gabriel. This is why we work together so much. Her, myself, and Gaia. This is very purposeful and meaningful for you all. There are others, of course, and you hear from them. But because of her own journey and our relationship and her needing someone, because it is not easy even for someone like her, constant contact. And that is not just for someone like her, it's for every single one of you. Constant contact. This is what you can have with all of us. You do have it. 
And sometimes for some of you, it can be a lot of contact all at once and a bit overwhelming. This was also discussed tonight. So yes, you are able to ask us for a reprieve, a break, if this is what you need. We are here for you. We love you and want you to be comfortable in your journey. We do not push, we do not nag, we guide, we give messages. We love you so, so much. I want you to remember when you were a child and before things became too real and your connections that you had with the divine beings around you, your guardian angels, myself, Gabriel, Gaia, the animals and nature, everything, a wonderment, and connected to us in a way that was constant contact. Effortless. Effortless. Effortless contact. We are right there with you. It is that effortless. It can be being upset or disrupted or angry or fearful or worrisome or any of these things, judgmental upon yourself, shameful. None of these things you have to deal with and go through and feel. And certainly not alone. Not anymore. I hope that you know that. Whether you reach out to us, we are always reaching out to you. Nothing needs to be difficult. Not to a point of hurt anymore. Growth is uncomfortable and this is something we've talked about a lot. Growth is uncomfortable. Evolution is uncomfortable. <sighs> Coming to truths that seem impossible is uncomfortable for every single one of us when we had to do it. I had to do it. I was a real person, just like you. And I had to figure it out too. I was connected, yes, and I could hear things and I could see things and I could do things and I could figure things out and, and understand things, but it took me time as well. It is not all like you read in the books. So much of that from top to bottom, from start to finish is untrue in my name and in my story. I think none of that is 
news to anyone at this point. Lies have been told about me, big ones that mess up everyone else. And we are coming to a point, family, where more and more of the details will be coming out. Uniting everyone more. There is a reason for all of this. It's necessary. The truth is necessary. Great shakeups are on the way in so many different forms, all for the greater good. We all know it, we all feel it, it is happening. It is a beautiful, wondrous thing to behold, to be a part of from any aspect and every aspect to see unfold, to see solidify webs, lives, souls. You are all coming together to yourselves and to each other and to us. More and more people understanding what is real some people thinking that me coming and speaking in this way is impossible and not real. Why? Because I'm an entity coming into a human body as a channel and speaking. That is so strange. Why? Why is that so strange? It really is the easiest thing to connect. It is true that not everyone has the ability to do this and not everyone should, quite frankly. I wouldn't give my voice to everybody to speak for me in my name. Gabriel herself, resistant. Of course, not anymore, but in the beginning. Not because she didn't understand, but because she was worried others wouldn't. Of course, that is since long past some people can feel the different energies coming in and through her and understand who is who before we speak. These are the speak people who we are talking to, not the doubters. Those who doubt have always doubted everything, negatively charged and in this lifetime will remain, remain that way. And these are not the ones in whom we speak to now. Even though deep down, they know the truth. The truth carries a vibration, just like love, impossible to fake. Real truth. This is what I'm speaking of. Not half truth, not slices of truth. Real, whole truth can be felt within you, especially when you're hearing from divine beings like myself or Gaia or Michael or Gabriel.
the dragons. All of us different. That can be felt. Know it to be true. We are all different and we are all with you. We all love you. Just like a group of your soul tribe that you're going to meet and incarnate in the near future and just like the friends that you've had in your life, different but the same. Loving you, but different. Giving you different pieces of advice, showing you different things, having different experiences with each of you. None of us can be everything. That is why we're all different. Being different is so important while we are all the same. That's what makes it all so beautiful, doesn't it? And make no mistake, family, being able to come to you in this way, knowing you in so many different ways, you will remember. But for now, it is such a joy for me, for all of us, to be able to speak, come share this space with you beautiful brothers and sisters. I want you to remember the true me and my true life. You know it in your heart. Not the stories you've been given, but the real truth. And you will. And I will help you. It's my story to tell and I will tell it. For now, though, family, no, we are caravanning. <sighs> we are on a journey through the desert to sit and dance and love together, to be with Gaia and each other, to teach each other how to heal, how to be compassionate to each other, how to love each other. What it means to be connected, what it means to be in body. All of these things, so much magic to be had, to be whole, to be a part of. It is my honor always to be with you. I love you eternally. deeply, forever and always. Happy, happy days, my beautiful family. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being the passionate, beautiful, divine beings that you are in and out of body, awake and in your sleep and astral states when we come together, please remember, call upon me. I am your brother Jesus and I love you so very, very much. Good night. Until next time, I love you. Hello, dear ones. This is Archangel Metatron. Welcome to this portal I will be taking you through now. We'll be working with your DMT. Please now sit upright.
clear your field, take a few deep breaths. Before we activate DMT, I would like to let you know that we will be working through a Stargate. Again, working with the Convergence Portal and sacred geometry that is embedded within the Pyramid of Giza. We are connecting to and activating. And now, since connecting with the core, your cords with Gaia, her charging and sending back up to you, we will be activating further the Merkaba, directly connected to the Pyramid at Giza and the sacred geometry within the foundation. This Merkaba has been activated for 10 months. We are connecting further lines in the sacred geometry for unity, for oneness, to connect the vibrations in which were started long, long time ago within the pyramids of Giza. So complicated, but so simple. If you can see this, please connect. Again, take a nice deep cleansing breath. We're going to take the palms of your hands and put them into your eye sockets. Nice and gently, do not push. Going to take your Thumbs are going to go around and over your temples. Get comfortable within your palms, fitting inside your eye sockets. Nice and gentle, please. Do not push. Interlock your fingers at the top of your head, creating a helmet. Acclimate to the darkness. Open your eyes as they are closed. And turn your head downward so you are using the force of gravity to push into the palms of your hand. Not too fast, nice and slow and easy. And Begin to push down and up with your palms and down with your head. You're going to see light. You're going to see patterns, matrix. Triangles, pyramids, flashes of light. Keep going. You will get a charge in energy. You will get warm. Push down and, or push up and push down with your head, push up with your hands, pushing further, further, further. You're going to see a light, follow the light. It is small at first, it will grow. Try not to move your eyes around too much. Try to keep them open. Further pushing, following the light, watching it grow. We're going into the Stargate. We're going into the portal, feeling it activate, energize around you. Charging your Merkaba, feeling it spinning faster, calibrating, aligning. Keep pushing. 
Breathing in nice and steady. Pushing, follow it. Follow the light. Now the wormhole will start to appear if it hasn't already. Follow and drop into the wormhole. Take a nice deep breath as you drop in. And at the count of three, you're going to release as you go and drop in to and through the wormhole. One, two, and three, release. Breathe and follow and drop into the wormhole, into the stargate, go with it, go with the energy, let it wash over you and fall into it. Breathe. Anchoring in with the sacred geometry in the foundation of Giza. Activating now. Take a deep breath. Feeling the energy bounce back, coming into your third eye now. Growing, 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 getting brighter and brighter. Feeling that supercharge of energy bouncing back from the Merkaba underneath and in the foundation energetically at Giza through the core of Gaia, anchored there and into your energetic cord and coming back up, activating, activate. Breathe in nice and deep. Receiving downloads and activations at this time using sacred geometry. Further crystalline DNA is activating. Breathe into your heart chakra at this time, please. Breathe in directly into your physical heart, please. Intentionally activating crystalline DNA at this time. Balancing your energy. Calibrating. You feel a little lightheaded, that's understandable. If you need to lay down, that's okay. Just feel into that, breathe into that. You are guided, dear family, to spend time with me, Archangel Metatron, working with sacred geometry. Some of you have in the past, it's time to spend time with me again. This time, however, do not follow a template, but remember your own code. You have a sacred geometric shape, your own code. 
tap in with me. Spend time aligning with the truth of your own geometric shape. And draw it and connect with me and it further activating your crystalline DNA, unlocking codes and remembrances for your future, for your connections, for your soul song to be as high vibrational as it is meant to be, to be heard by soul family, those incarnate in which you are meant to be in contact with in the physical and otherwise. So again, please spend time connecting with the truth that you do have your own sacred geometric shape goes along with your soul song vibration. It's important. It is a facet, a key, a node to the greater tapestry picture and web of life. Thank you, dear ones. Okay, everyone. Hello. Feeling into this energy. Really uh, connecting again, visualizing with the pyramid Akiza. Seeing the foundation lit up in a violet light, activated and charged. Radiating out this beautiful divine energy through Gaia. Remembering again, we are still in the Stargate. Cycling through the energy. Again, turn your attention to the beautiful full moon, receiving the energies through and through all of your bodies, your physical body, your energetic body, your etheric body, your auric body, and finally your spiritual body family. Activating and lighting up your crystalline DNA, bringing in infinite love light energy through your entire body system and cycling it through, activating your chakras, calibrating to the new frequency of higher vibration since we've connected with Gaia tonight, taking that through into our Merkabas, working with our Third eye, activating DMT, connecting in that space, further transmuting. Please family, remember in the next few days, drink as much water as you can help transmute energies, to help clear out your system, to help activate your DNA. You can supercharge better the water you can. 
bless your water, supercharge your water, add divine, beautiful herbs to your water. There's a good chance for uh, further loss and density of weight in the body structure, especially in these next few days. So transmuting energy, also not needing to eat or wanting very light food will be a part of these next few days, drinking more water, eating light meals, Remember to further connect with your spirit tribe, with the High Council, with Jesus, with Gaia, myself, Archangel Gabriel, and the rest of us, please, as needed. Whether incarnate or otherwise, I am here for you. Please feel into these energies that we've activated tonight. Be intentional about transmuting overnight, about connecting with Gaia further going into your crystal with Jesus, receiving more beautiful, motivational, and loving energies from him, further connecting with your soul, with your soul story, your mission here in this lifetime, connecting with those in the higher dimensions, getting to know them before you meet in the physical. So these transitions may be as easy and as comfortable as possible is all on the horizon, family. Please feel into and offer your divine loving energy into all of that for yourself and for your counterparts, for your brothers and sisters, for one and all and all in one. I thank you so much for being here. We all do, those of us of the High Council. And I thank you also, the uh, Galactic Command, all of our Starseed counterparts coming in to assist, offering guidance and support, loving energy. Thank you for your work, always. So please take your time coming back into your body, feeling the energies around you. Archangel Michael coming in. Dear ones, hello, this is Archangel Michael coming to you once again. I said I was with you earlier and I am. Please know that we will be working further in the astral and as some of you have been aware and have been guided to certain uh, aspects of Gaia in crystal form, please continue to hear that call and collect these uh, uh, coded instruments for your uh, work in the future. And we will be working with you tonight in astral. Please bring your crystals around you Also, any objects that you have been guided to other than crystals recently, things that are uh, vintage possibly that you have been guided to, bring those around you as well as you have been connected with these items in the past and guided to them again to be around you now. So we will be working with you in uh, a short while in your astral During this astral, you will be uh, connecting further with your uh, incarnate counterparts. So 
So further work will be done in connection with this meditation. Please know that family. However, it will be done in your sleep state and will be a longer process. So we are beginning that process. Once you are in your sleep state, please do not stay up too late tonight. If that is possible for you with the energies, if you can please take yourself to a relaxed state after this meditation. Uh, there is still further work to be done. Thank you all for being here. Remember, I am always with you and offer my loving strength, my support for you. Call upon me, Archangel Michael, always. I am at your side, at your service, and I love you dearly, and I will see you soon. Okay, everybody, so that is all for now. If you can please get back into body and join me in the chat if you are so inclined to meet me there. Here in just a few moments, we can have a chat about this experience. Otherwise, I will see you soon enough. Again, thanks for being here. Thanks to our divine counterparts, one and all, all in one, for being here. Those of you incarnate, my soul tribe, I love you all so much. You're amazing. Again, take your time. Feel into your body, into your energy. If you're guided to curl up and go to sleep at this point, feel, please feel free to do so. If you're guided to come back into body, open your eyes and join me, please do that as well. Either one is perfectly fine. <laughs>